Good kitten internet. Uh, this has been an event, to put it mildly. I've been trying to figure out what in the world's been causing my frame drops. Um, it's completely unnoticeable to you out in YouTube land. I still haven't found everything. I've already dropped five frames during the recording of this. It only matters when I need to edit these videos. And I'm trying to get it to work right. I think this might be the same issue I was having with my XCOM 2 stream. In case if you didn't see that, I do upload the stream archives on it. But I was having random frame rate drops for no noticeable reason. Because holy crap, my machine should be more than powerful enough to handle... XCOM 2 at this point, and I don't know what's going on. Um, you also notice that there's no kitty cam on this video. That's one of the things that I did notice was dropping frames like mad, was kitty cam being enabled. Strangely enough, even if the camera wasn't plugged in. I am so confused at this point. I'm confused by a lot of things right now. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. Dark reason? I don't think I have a reason to go there. Not even a dark one. Anyway. Um, I should probably look up where in the world I was. I don't remember anything. It's been a couple of weeks since I last launched. I'm peeking in dark reason because I don't remember now. This is one of those dungeons that... Isn't this the... Yeah. I think there was a reason for us to go back there. Anyway, how goes? This has been a bit of a night for me. Um, I'm recording this the day before this goes live, for reference, because I have zero backlog at this point. It's been a long month. Um, hopefully audio levels are okay. I know I'm going to be significantly louder than I was before, and the game should also be a teensy bit louder compared to before. Hopefully it mixes well. I've been doing some tests that seems like it should. Uh, so many things that I've done. I have dropped 19 frames out of about, or 20 frames out of about 9,000 so far. Just to give an idea as to, I'm dropping so few frames that YouTube people will never notice, but my editor will start glitching like mad. Anyway, um, let me figure out where I was. One moment. And back. Okay. Um, looks like I am at the point of needing to go to the trapeze head turn. So the first thing I'm going to do is teleport to... Portly. Uh, also need to reload on arms ammo, I think. Hey, you see the green plus? Yeah. Armsmeister is over here, if I remember right. Yep. Reload. What upgrades can I do? That's a higher hit chance. This is a group higher hit chance. It's everybody. See, the problem is that there's not really a reason to use the mini-scud when you have a railgun. 
I mean, I guess the FP number is smaller, but... Uh, there's a lot of weirdness when it comes to his arms. Um, wish I could see what I needed for each. Well, you're an all target. We'll do that. You're single target, and it almost sounds like you're using electricity. You're a group. We've got a 70 power single target. Dead or alive has a chance of instant death. Yeah, it's like, for instance, um, shop weapon has multiple, has more bullets. That's its only advantage over what I have for Phantom Fang. Just, I don't quite understand, but whatever. We'll do this for now. Spent a decent amount of money. Don't really need money at this point, to be honest. I don't think there's anything left for us to even buy. We have personal skills. I really need to actually use these, but I want to save them for... Oh, let's analyze, but I never actually do that. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm probably going to reload from this point to do a let's analyze anyway. There's enough points sitting here. parameter is actually not all that useful for her. I mean, it's not the worst, it's just not useful. Don't do that. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep Ashley that way for now. All increases PDF. Well, that's what I should have done. Oh, I already did upgrade MDEF for cannon. Um, I'll do. Anyway, let's go to the trapezohedron. Let's do some plot. How's it going, by the way? It's been a while since I've recorded one of these. call immediately. Your reaction pattern contains some strange noise. Apparently you came into contact with the trapezohedron. The trapezohedron has linked to the live reflectors and serves as a prison. It must hold the powerful Kuiper belt, so it is built to be incredibly strong. So you only get one chance to get the Kuiper belt. The Kuiper belt is a parallel universe. It is like a giant living entity. By annihilating the Kuiper Belt, you can escape the grip of the force field. Failure is not an option. You must prepare carefully for this mission. That is all! So yeah, we can no longer leave. 
All right. So. There, this is a maze, so I'm actually going to look this up to save some time. I don't know why I canceled that. That's not the way that was supposed to work. Yeah, notice that it changes your orientation on you. Oops. Of course. Yeah. Keeping north up is going to help because otherwise this gets hella confusing fast. This already is really confusing. Teleporter. Not teleporter. Not teleporter. Teleporter. See what I mean by... There's a lot... This is a giant maze. Land and enemies. Do they have anything I need to grab? Actually, does anything in this dungeon do? Because I only have one time through this dungeon. Wait, I've already fought land and enemies before. Right. Um, what about the other creature that's here? Uh, no. Okay. Good to know. And land and enemies are resistant to everything. Cool. Bet they're not resistant to fist. were cheaper. What can I afford? I think I can afford Quibbly. Or Cubly. Why not? Miraville's level 30. She might actually be faster now. Probably not. She is, actually. It missed. It didn't do anything because I'm first. Herp. De derp. De derp. I probably should have tried pickpocketing it. It has a revive fruit. I can't buy those. Wait, are there actually any treasures in this entire dungeon? No. Ooh, that makes things easier. That's a teleporter. I apparently decided I didn't want to look at the walkthrough, so I'm just doing this blind. So I do have a plan, by the way. Um, so Lilka, as you may know. Oh, wait. Sorry. I want him as my third. Uh, Lilka has Saber as a spell that's significantly more powerful than normal. What I could do is switch Saber over to be wide instead of powerful. That'll mean that it'll hit an entire group. That might not be a terrible idea, except in this case it would actually not do much. So this is actually the style of combat that I do usually in this game, which is normally it's Ashley instead of Cannon. Ashley punches something, Lilka casts Saber, Tim uses FP shift so people actually have force power to do something else. Like that. This is the loop that I have for random encounters at this point because there's not much of a reason to do anything else. 
Oh, Marvel leveled up. That's nice. I've been here. Is this where I came in at? This might be where I came in at. This is sounding familiar now. So for reference, there's only two enemy types in this entire dungeon. It's Landon enemies and it's uh, Asmodeus, which have instant death attacks. Alright, is there anything that I really need to care about here? This is the one where they tricks or you. They're trying to taunt you into areas that weren't obvious. Oh, damn it. Areas that weren't obvious and visible before. So you just need to follow the actual existing path. If I remember right. Well, this is new at least. This is where we need to go. We need to hop off. I remember that. That's a really long way. Can you imagine doing this without save states? Because I don't want to. Also, it's entirely possible that there's... Oh, I made it. This is the tip of the Kuiper Belt held in the Mana Prison. The pseudo-life form, the encroaching parallel universe, the Kuiper Belt. Am I imagining this? It's not expanding, is it? It's almost though like it's hatching from an egg. Whoa, it's hatching! It's the larva of the encroaching parallel universe. I... <coughs> I'm sorry, the plot of this section is completely nonsensical. I really hope this is a translation issue. Everything dealing with the Kuiper Belt or the Encroaching Parallel Universe or any of that just makes zero sense to me. But we gotta fight it. So if you ever wondered what an Encroaching Parallel Universe looks like, it looks like this. Or at least the larval form does. Yep, it has its own unique battle music. And horrible frame rate slowdown from what I remember. Alright. Um Yeah, this is a Marival battle. Because this is status effect heaven, which means we need status lock. Um, rise and shine. Also on Marivel. Oh, right. I should probably equip things that will help with us. Dandarium. 
Yeah, I am still learning. The luck ones. Um, let's get some satisfactory removal things. I don't have the really good stuff, do I? Okay. Um, kind of wish I had two of those. I don't, though. Because Luca can actually cure status effects, whereas nobody else can. Um... Okay. Status lock. Self. Rise and shine. Maraville. Tim, why don't you just biff this person? Get some force. Okay. To so look, uh, Maryville won't be put to sleep now. I don't think Maryville's faster than the Larva form, though. Nope. Reconcile. Oh crap! I got ability blocked. Damn it! Um, I guess this is a good time to build up force points. Um, Wilka, you need to restore Maraville. Tim, you need to start sobbing. Um, carrot yourself. Still ability blocked. Seriously. Will you let me get off any useful ability? Screw it, Mystic War Respite. it to Wilka, so I'm spending it. Mega Crusher! Yeah, you can hit people, that's fine. Especially with that weak, jeez. I think that, yeah, that's about what Marivel hits for. Alright, Marivel, please status lock yourself already. and shine yourself. Tim, you actually have a decent amount of force points now. Yeah, Cosmic Ray. Blap. Ability bind. Good. Did not actually inflict a status effect. Alright, Marivel's status locked. That's going to help quite a bit. Status lock, Tim. Milka. Um, Rise and Shine, Tim. Tim just first aid in this case. There. Now Tim won't fall asleep. None of my characters will fall asleep. That's currently visible. Tim might still get status bound. Did not happen, though. That's good. Alright! Finally! Status lock, Lilka. Lilka, you should... Saber. Tim. Ok, 
could do a high combo attack. High combo with Dandurium's not terrible, but it uses up all of my force is the problem. Um, just Cosmic Rays. We'll continue with that. Think I just took out its mouth? And final status lock. Good. Marivel, you need to start attacking. Uh, is it weak against or strong against anything? No. Uh, does that actually give a good amount of XP? Yeah, it does. Let's go ahead and use a lucky card. That's right, I remembered. Believe it or not, I was actually planning on using lucky cards. Um, shield, or not shield, saber. Yep, we only have Larva left. Which means that if I have a single target attack, that might be better. I don't think I do, though. Is that actually stronger? No, it's about the same damage. And I killed it anyway. Oh crap, that was before the lucky card got used. Oh well. That was a quick game! Did we win? Her attack seems to have had an effect on the pseudo-life form, the encroaching parallel universe. Because we keep needing to remind you that it's an encroaching parallel universe. <laughs> Mm, sorry, just needed to sneeze. The Kuiper Belt was a section that broke off at the main body, right? What we destroyed was only a small section of it. What we really need to do is destroy what's still out there. How do I have cell reception in here? Irving! The mission was a failure, just like you warned us. The Kuiper Belt released part of itself just before the core was sealed. You mean what we fought was just... The tail of a lizard, yes. Unfortunately, not either Liz nor Ard. Anyway, just come back to the chateau. Your piece of Hendren will self-destruct in any minute. Yeah, you might want to leave. Which, by the way, we were told we couldn't leave. We can now, though. We have eliminated part of it, but the Kuiper Belt is still strong. The sky of Thulgaia is still dark, as are the hearts of the people, are, and the hearts of the people are just as shadowed. Our plan against the paper belt. The did the trapezohedron avail us not at all? Have we failed, then? I think arms have lost this time. And even if we were defeated in the battle, we still have the war. Even in this darkness, we were able to see one critical thing. Yes, we have found the way to trap the Kuiper Belt. Treating a world like a spirit and trapping it in a live vessel can be effective. In that case, why don't we try sealing it in the Trapezohendron once more? I mean, we, we have more of those, right? We can trap a critical mass of the Kuiper Belt in the Trapezohendron. We can do better against it this time. Unfortunately, we used up all the mana built up in the ray points. That's right! All of that work going through each of the ray points was for nothing! Congratulations! Since the paler air appeared, the faint light of the world we've been seen has we've seen has been disappearing. Large amount of mana must have been consumed from Filgaia. Suddenly, we're in Final Fantasy VII, and we've sucked the planet dry out of the life stream. Cool. It will be hundreds of years before enough mana are accumulated at the ray point again. And that, by that time, the world will have already been eaten away. Shucks darn. If we know more ideas to use, it's gotta be something. There just has to be. If we don't try something, everything living in Filgaia will be om nom nommed. Sometimes it's better to go slowly than quickly. One more error will be fatal. But... 
At the moment, I'm more worried about your health. You see, you can kill us all. You all must be very weary by now. I can't ignore that. Today, I would like you for you to rest. Everything's okay, right? We can still save the Gaia, can't we? Can't we? There's always another way. You just have to find it. There's always a last resort to be taken. I am the commander. You must all rest up for our next action. Yeah, we're basically in cutscene heaven at this point. It is possible to destroy a world by sealing it in a living vessel. I'm certain that's the only way to defeat the Kuiper Belt. But... Raypoint's mana is so depleted, using any more of it might drain the very sun of life. Using the mana prison, the Debrisahedron would kill our life-giving planet. That hand's been played out. In which case, how can we lure the Kuiper Belt into a body without the Trapezohedron? That's it! We must prepare a vessel other than the Trapezohedron. We must use Ashley Winchester. He will be our drastic means. An ancestor of Anastasia was the trapped Lord Blazer. No? That statement is false. Anastasia, your ancestor, trapped Lord Blazer. The blaze of disaster. Such a giant being was controlled by housing it in a person. Therefore, the Kuiper Belt should be able to be housed in a human vessel, too. But a human vessel already contains one spirit. Two beings sharing one vessel, like Ashley, is tantamount to a miracle. A miracle. We need... A miracle. The Valeria blood that runs in my veins is that of the hero who drove back the Lord Blazer. I will not wait for a miracle. Miracles are worth most when you bring them about yourself. Elder brother? Did you call? It's so late at night. Why the two of them have different accents, I have no idea. Don't ask my brain. That is so Anastasia. Or Altesia, sorry. I've anyway, gotten used to saying Anastasia instead of Altesia. We need the capacity to match that of the Trapezohedron. We need a vessel large enough to entrap the encroaching parallel universe. The Demon Summoning. Demon Summoning? Is that part of the black magic which you used to research? Remember, he was a part of the Sealed Region stuff. He's a magical researcher. This is where we find out a wee bit more about Irving than we ever wanted to know. Wasn't that black magic forbidden for humans to use? Uh, elder brother, you don't mean... Need something wide and deep enough to hold a world. Only choice is a human vessel. Please understand, Altesia. We must entrust everything to the Valeria blood, for we are descendants of the hero. Little sister, I need you not as a sword magus, but as the Madonna of Destruction. This is where things get really freaking weird. Elder brother! I need you. You and the family blood flowing with through you. Will I be able to fight you, elder brother? Or fight with you, elder brother? May I be by your side, always? From now on, always together. I want you to bear my sins with me, Altesia. this sounds like it's implying something, it is. Including that fade to black. Including that line. 
Remember way back at the start of the game, I mentioned references to incest? Yep. That just happened. There'll be more. Good morning, everyone. I hope you are rested up for your next mission. I think I found a solution. Monsters are appearing in the land east of helmets across the inlet. I want arms to immediately go there immediately and investigate the cause. Uh, but wait, what? Are you serious? Just monster attack? I just said I found an idea. I have an idea. Ashley is trying to use his brain for once. What are we going to do about the Kuiper Belt, though? Arms must respond to everything, large or small. Yes, but... I'm depending on you. Everyone, get moving. Now. Move, move. Be careful, everyone. Soon, I will solve everything. Soon, we will save the world. Whenever he does that, that se segment that is, um, whatchamacallit, um, in his head. From helmets, there's a report of monsters to the land of the east across the inlet. Your mission is to go there and discover the cause of the disturbance. Good luck. Blah, blah. Chop, chop. So many meeting rooms in this place. Ah, oh, where are we at? 36, 37 minutes at this point. We're gonna heal up first. Actually, we are healed. What the heck am I saying? We're going to teleport to helmets. We have a new plus. It's over here. We've been here before. We just haven't done anything about it. We found a hole in the ground and fiery wreckage. There are two enemies in here. This music should sound familiar, by the way. Actually, you know, we don't need to do this now, but yeah, I guess I might as well. cloak so much. Oh yeah. There are there are items in this dungeon, but they're inside, not outside. There's one. Obelisk gun. I think that might be Ashley's best weapon. That. That worked, at least. Ugh, these camera angles. Alright. Got that. It's that one. Yeah, okay. Damn it! I mentioned how much I hate using the Mist Cloak. It's just... Blech. So you notice lack of monsters here? Just saying.
figured out where we're at yet? It's been a long time. A really long time. We are fighting... Gel gobs! Gel gobs! Gel gobs, they've got nothing. Okay, they're also weak against nothing. Oh right, I keep forgetting. I need Tim to kill everything. keep forgetting because I need kills on Tim because I haven't maxed out the guardians that I have. Probably didn't need to use the mystic carrot then. I mean if that does over a thousand damage they only have like seven hit points. <sighs> okay. Second console turned on. Then we get the main screen turned on. Also, I just remembered I needed to re equip other stuff. My luck is worst. I didn't even notice that. Uh, that'll work. So sad that secret signs are now books instead of awesome items that drop the cost of things. Boop. Boop. Now it's time for main screen turn on! Power supply not connected. Start this console. All the slave units must be linked to it. Or, linked to it must be turned on. Minion units would be the proper terminology now, thank you very much. What is that? Hmm. I don't think I can reach that with Puka. No. We did turn on those consoles, right? That's on. There's only four consoles. That's on. What the heck game? Green exclamation point. That's on. And that's on. Huh? I am so confused. It's definitely a sword there. I don't know why there's a sword there. We don't have a swords person. Earthquake. Did I do anything? Nope. That's where we came out at. This is where we came in at. What the heck? Detailed information on the demon summoning. Demon summoning experiment used the newly formed special unit as guinea pigs. Information that was, was leaked to Odessa regarding the date and time of the ceremony for the unit.
there's information about Randolph the Magic Key and Conjuring from that man. I'm Delgazo. Information. Because that's actually where we're at right now, if you couldn't figure it out. We're actually on the crashed remains of the Delgazo. I'm really curious as to what the green exclamation point is. Sabretooth? Sabretooth Walrus? Sabretooth doesn't have anything I care about. It's also not weak against anything. Oh, I mastered something! I didn't even see what it was. Gold Biner. Or Gold Hammer. Okay. I think I still need a couple more kills on this particular piece of equipment. I'll double check now. <coughs> I think it's something like five or ten more. I can't remember now. Uh, status, Tim. Oops. Yes. Oh, jeez, it's seven more. Okay. Yeah, it's increasing luck by plus one. We already looked at this, didn't we? Oh, no. Detail information concerning Odessa's war power. Can I grapple? I mean, I can hit it, but... I wonder if I can power this using Electo. And that wouldn't make any sense, because... Um, Maribel's entirely optional. Why won't this power go on? I hate vessels. Wow, everybody has their own dialogue? No power means we need to go back and check each and every minion unit. Looks like it won't work unless if we start the minion units. I have! You can't get it turned on. Means we need to check all the minion units. Huh? Switch won't go on. Does that mean that the minion unit has to be started? I did. I have started every one of those. Maybe there's another entrance to this place. Oops. Missed the cloak. Okay. Aha! There are more entrances. Okay. This makes more sense. Aha! There are more of you. Detailed information on Odessa's funding sources. Information on the nobility financially supporting Odessa is present in, presented in fragments. Actually, don't know whose that would be. No, it's Ashley. Yeah, I'm not making it across that. That's the exit. Does that mean I have to do all of this over? I hate these camera angles. Just want to state that. Fair enough. 
there was another one. Maybe it's over here? Ooh, I can grapple over there. Neat. I didn't even notice that. Probably because the cameras are dumb in this game. There we go. Now I have to miss cloak again because... Does the game really likes making me use Mist Cloak? I remember seeing this sword before. Calamity silently floats. The mad mountains scream out a lament. The ideal is death. Deep-seated delusion doesn't die. Even if the flesh rots, this man's remaining thoughts become a fiery wreckage that stands in one's way. This is an optional battle, by the way. That's right! We're fighting Cloud again. I mean Vincefield. Remaining poltergeist ghost. And it's using Vincefield's theme, so it's really obvious. Uh, yeah. This is entirely optional. I don't remember if Ghost has anything on him. Uh, yeah. By the way, this is actually the hardest battle in the game. Normally. Normally. However, Ghost. I can just turn undead. And it's dead. Yeah. It is one of the easiest boss battles in the game. Oh, I actually could have pickpocketed. It would have been a tiny flower. That's fine. It's not a big deal in this case. Streaming thoughts can show up in shapes like this. Did you really want world domination that much? Nothing is felt from a rotted sword. Yep, it's just dead now. There's nothing else. Alright, hopefully I've actually knocked out all the screens now. Because I really don't want to go through that again. Alright, 53 minutes, so we'll be done after this. Alright, here it goes. This looks like the wreckage from the Heimdolgazo. It's said that you can access Odessa's main databank from here. What do you wish to do, Ashley? Ah, uh, well, this is Odessa's main databank, so Vincefield must have meant the Kuiper Belt when he spoke of an encroaching menace. So he must have known something about it then. We might be able to get some information. Could be a waste of time, but it's worth a try. Besides, we were sent to kill monsters. There's been, like, two of them here. He spoke as if he knew something. He knew something we didn't. That's not unlikely. Anyway, let's take a look. If nothing comes up, no big deal. Let's split up and research this. Hmm, even if we research data on Odessa now, it doesn't look like anything good will result. Hey, what kind of joke is this? Here's the big reveal of the game. Let me see. Odessa's membership power, activity, strategies. I know it's strategies, I just felt like it. So what do you think the big reveal of the game is? There's been enough hints in the game at this point. In fact, there are no spoilers left in the game after this, to my knowledge. Mm, like minor ones, but still. No, the section after that. Funding sources. 
The organization lacked operational funds, so these are their back financial backers. Possible? Why would that name be listed there? This has to be wrong. This must be wrong. It has to be. Irving Bold Valeria. Why is his name there? Oh my! Holy! Oh jeez! We're done for! Calm yourself down. What is going on? We just found something horrible over here. Uh, this is A. As usual, it's pandemonium here. Irving and Altesia are gone! They're not in the chateau. They left a note, so we know where they went. Understood. We'll hurry back right now. While you all are getting this, I will be preparing the final plan against the Kuiper Belt. To beat the Kuiper Belt, we, which exists only as a concept now, we must cause it to materialize. The trapezohedron, the trapezohedron is useless now. I must take actions I know will be regrettable. These will be my drastic measures. Whatever people may say, I will sacrifice all for Vilgaia. It's true that my actions in this cause have not been beyond reproach. I do not ask for forgiveness. I will pay whatever price is required. I will now give you your final mission. You will travel to the Heart of Vilgaia. The Heart of Vilgaia is the center of the world and the root of this planet's life. You still believe in me? Then grant this wish. Then pray for the future of Vilgaia. Irving Vold Valeria. <coughs> what will we do from now on? No one to command us, but we already know what we're fighting for. We have a promise that can guide us. Or purpose, not promise. No one will lead us. It's time to lead ourselves. All that talk is fine, but I just want to protect what's in vain. I will not let anyone ruin the world that I live in. Not without a fight. This'll, this last battle looks like it'll be your last. No, I did read that right. This last battle will look looks like it will be our last. The first rule of Tautology Club is the first rule of Tautology Club. Everyone needs to decide for themselves. We'll disperse for now. We'll meet back here again at this time tomorrow. Those with the will to fight can come. Oh yeah, that's right. We have a cutscene. Okay, I guess this one will run slightly late. I forgot about that. I would have saved otherwise. Oh well. For reference, plot-wise, we have one video remaining. Come on, listen. All you have to do is listen. I might be the only one of us without superior officers. But in return, I have been blessed with the best of allies. Must be hard for you. You're stuck listening to me, Bobble. When he's with you, Billy seems so happy. Do you think so? Hmm. Hmm. I should freshen up a little more, I guess. Yes, I can always tell. I can tell because we're always together. I owe a lot to you, Meryl. This one was saved from the brink of death because of you and the villagers. I can tell because we're always together. It's almost as though I just said that line. Billy's always with Mister. I can tell. You don't have to say a word. I've got something valuable I've been keeping for this one. I survive all battles because of it. Doesn't matter where I am. I'm always with this one. We're always together. This is the point where the translation accidentally introduced a um, gay relationship in the game. Fun fact. Uh, they're not really meant to be like that from the Japanese version, but you know what? They took away one gay relationship. They can add one. That's fine. It's always something I wanted to ask you. 
That day, Mister was arrested, and I was told it was because he was a hero. Is a hero something bad? Love how you can see her eyes over Billy's head. Hmm, I wonder. One thing I do know, I'm not a hero. I wasn't able to become a hero. I caused all kinds of trouble. That's my own fault. Yeah, even the dog's calling you out on that. Rasio is shaking with fear. How long are these conditions going to last? It'll be over soon. I'll make sure it'll be over. It's the only thing I can do now to thank the sky. You just flew out here. Ugh. Then you come back without any warning? Ugh. What? Terry. <sighs> you were always, always so indecisive. Didn't come back here to see you. It's no big deal. Well, that's true, but... <sighs> um, uh... What? I've decided to take the kettle test. Wow, really? That really difficult to lead class? Well, sort of. You've got a rotten personality, but you sure know how to study. Um, how about we take the test together? Like on a date? Kettle? This is the classroom sis sat in. That's it! I've got it! The way to get close to your sis, you're a dream girl, you need to take the test. I'm sorry, it's a requirement, and you must sit by me, even though I'm a dick that was trying the whole bully the person that I have feelings for motive. Ugh, I hate that so much. I'm so in awe of you, sis. She's just completely ignoring him, it's great. But I'm Lilka Ilniak. I'm not your sis. I have something I want to do, and in order to do that, maybe I'll try taking the test too. Yeah, let's. I'm sure it'll be the best. Shut up, Terry. Well, now you're going already? It's too early. I thought I'd check the test area together now. You know. Prepare for the test. No other reasons. What is it? I've always wondered why you always seem to pick fights with me. It's not like you like me or anything, is it? Uh, you like Lilka. Yeah, that's true too. Nobody likes me. I remember, someday I'll be a mighty fine woman. <sighs> Damage man. I'll be sure to give you the honor of being dumped by me then. But you're making fun of me! Yep. Later, loser. Lilka! Hey, I'm supposed to be... I, I'm stuck with the cleaning you're supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah, thanks. It was all over and we come back? I'll help out a little bit. Uh, where? Astronomical Observatory. Ooh, that's a rough one. I'm not gonna do that. Bye! You're the one who volunteered. I'm holding you to it. I'm gonna get you to help me clean the Astronomical Observatory. Ugh. I hate that pairing so much. This is a much more wholesome pairing. Boy, I haven't seen the sky in a long time. Yeah. It's different from having something fun disappear. I never imagined that having something so familiar disappear would make me feel so lonely. Yeah. I've made up my mind. I'm going to bring the sky back to Filgaia. I'm going to show you the sun once again. I promise you. Yeah. Give me your hand. Let's shake on it. Give me your left hand. Let's meet here again. Colette? When someone you wanted nearby leaves, it makes you lonely. It does. Even if the sky disappears, I still have sunshine. This here is a special secret sun. Uh, give 
Can you left hand and promise me again? <sighs> One moment. Okay, just need to check something really fast. Uh, dang it. Blood can be inherited, but can heroism be inherited as well? Blood is a red bond that ties you to the past. Invisible bonds become chains which bind one over and over again. It's a person's karma, fate, and yet to be known future. Gasping at the suffering, the wailing seeks the dark yet rest is full of traps. What the garbage is that canon, seriously? But if today is here for tomorrow, Vacillating in the blood is karma's reward of the hero. Or, Irving boldly becomes a needle which dives under, heading for the heart. Seriously, karma. Uh, seriously, just what? Originally, Filgaida was... Yep. Destined to be the ruler of the top of the ecosystem. Yet they came charging, one by one without permission. And later gave no reason. That's criminal. Yep. Now is the time for a true ruler, a crimson noble. Hey, what's at the top of the ecosystem? You don't know? It's a problem with the uneducated. It means he's all alone, right? Exactly. The true rulers, crimson nobles, no solitude intimate. I must be very lonely. Uh, what are you talking about? People like to have friends around. I'm used to things like that. Think about it. I'm the only Crimson Noble left. No one left who can share these hours with me. Then I can be your friend. Well... If a crimson noble bites and sucks my blood, can I share these hours with you? Yeah, if that's a chance, that's the case. Here you go. I'll be your uh, first friend. Uh, you're like ten, kid. You're a hopeless idiot. Think about it. Your resignation from humanity means you could lose quite a lot. Yeah, well, if I did this, you'll, I'll be able to be with you forever, right? So the game is truly trying to pair the spares at this point, and for some completely bizarre reason they paired Tony with Merrillville, I don't get it. I really don't get it. This is complete nonsense. Basically, the entire end of the game is kind of nonsense. Oh, stop it, stop it. I have no interest in Tilden like you. When you hit those pudgy middle ears, I might consider it. Really? Really and truly. So I need to become fat and middle-aged. Got it, I think I can handle that. Alright, tomorrow I will become middle-aged. Oh, you aren't dull, that's for sure. Wait, so if tomorrow you're going to become middle-aged, that means that you're ending your lifespan at 22 for some reason? Or 21 or 20? Maybe if I were you, I might with you, I might not be so lonely after all. And finally, did something happen? Uh, yeah, sorry, I guess I should say something. It's all right, you don't have to force yourself to say anything. But, but, oh boy, if Ashley doesn't talk, I'll have a feeling I'll end up babbling again. Go ahead. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to be able to express my feelings very well. If I put it into words, I might end up hurting Ashley again. Marina. In my heart, I want to say something different. But when I put it into words, I always say something very different. I hate how feelings turn into different words when they leave the body. It was actually... This part of the sequence is not as bad as I remember. So far. I mean, she's right. I personally have lots of problems communicating things in the way that I want to communicate them. 
I'm pretty good at judging my own words. That's part of the reason why you'll see me trip over my own words. It's because I'm editing the sentence as I'm saying it out loud. Uh, also, the reason why I have random pauses in my speech is because I'm stopping trying to consider my words before continuing. And Merville's kind of just hinting on that whole, yeah, sometimes you say things and what you say isn't actually what you mean, even though you intend to say what you mean. It's just you're not using the right words. It's the whole connotation denotation thing. I always wish there were more direct ways to express my feelings. But if I do this, see, you can sense my feelings now, right? Sex scene. The warmth, the weight, and the feelings. Yeah, this is as much of a sex scene as you get. I'm so glad I have a body to convey it all. I think this is supposed to be a parallel with the encroaching parallel universe, but I don't quite understand the parallel. I mean, it actually does make sense in context that, um, whatchamacallit, um, Marianne and Ashley may have sex at this point. That's not the part that's confusing to me. The part that's confusing to me is how that relates to what's going on. Anyway, that was a 15 minute long cutscene. We're still going. Aren't you the one that wanted to fight together? Why are you keeping quiet and fighting alone, Irving? I wanted to get here first, too. I guess not this time. Lilka! Everyone's thinking the same thing. Oh, hey, look, everybody returns. Who would have thought? We all wanted to hear from Irving before we decide. You weren't thinking of going alone, were you? No, Ashley specifically was not thinking about that, so that's good. Oof, they're all crazy. <coughs> Everyone. Uh, this isn't actually all of us. Everyone, everyone, who came back? Uh, yeah. You know what it's like outside? Uh, it's a lot worse since yesterday. It's kind of nuts outside. So where? So there's danger wherever we go. Let's go, Ashley. You've lost, Ashley. Everyone, let's go then. Finish everything once and for all. This is the point of the game where you can go straight to the end. As I think I mentioned earlier, or that might have just been in my head, um, there's one episode left of plot in the game. We will not be doing that next. We will be finishing up every any little bit of side quest content, because plot is a dirty poor little word. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Do I have another do I have enough time to even do the next episode? Yeah, I think I do. Bye!